Uh, maybe you've seen people who um, can draw super realistic images uh, utilizing a grid technique and essentially using a grid, which it's, it's often something that's performed with a photograph. Why would you want to do that? Well, it's basically to break up the segment of the image that you're observing to help you get closer observation and more accurate observation during the drawing stage. And so uh, can you do it from direct observation? A lot of people often say no. Uh, I've even heard many great creators on YouTube say, well, you can't, don't use the grid technique because you can't use it uh, from direct observation in real life. And that's just not the case. Um, I first became aware of it uh, watching some of James Gurney's content. He has some videos where he actually has uh, a picture plane like this with a grid and he's able to get a highly detailed, accurate uh, drawing into his sketchbook. So I wanted to kind of emulate that. But even looking at the history of art, we see a lot of artists like Albrecht Durer, notably, who created um, essentially a picture plane with uh, different threads that he would create a grid and he would look through that grid at the model or the scene that he was painting and drawing and then he would have on his uh, surface a corresponding grid and again looking through at the individual squares of the grid he's able to kind of break up the shape and it really helped in the development of being able to accurately draw an image a model especially foreshortened and so uh, with this scene here this is the Bob Carey Bridge over the Missouri River in Omaha Nebraska and uh, I'm kind of interested in trying to paint more scenes of the river one of my favorite impressionist artists is Alfred Sisley and he did a lot of paintings of the river and water um, and just the landscape that's near to him. And I thought that it would be kind of interesting to try to do more depictions of the landscape that are really idiosyncratic to the city that I live in. And Omaha is right on the river uh, and the riverfront is kind of a notable part of our downtown area. And so I thought that it would be kind of interesting to paint this uh, pedestrian bridge that crosses over the river into Iowa and um, to practice painting moving water, practice painting the river, practice painting the landscape, practice painting architecture and all of that. And I wanted to get my proportions accurate. I wanted to get, you know, a highly uh, accurate drawing of the bridge in particular. And so uh, at the beginning, of course, you saw me kind of create this uh, picture plane. It's just a uh, old photo frame that I made a grid over. And then on my canvas, I had a corresponding grid in pencil lines. And what the goal was, was to basically look through that picture plane and use a marker and trace uh, the scene that I'm seeing uh, onto that grid and then look at the grid and then kind of copy the drawing that I had traced onto the uh, canvas. And it just didn't work. The accuracy level was just totally crazy. It wasn't any better than me just eyeballing it. And I think that the essential thing that was lacking was that um, my I didn't have anything to stabilize the distance from my eyes to the picture plane or the viewfinder. And so really even like any variation in where your eyes are as you look through the picture plane, if your eyes move, you know, one millimeter to the left or the right or forwards or backwards or up or down, you're going to get a different image. And so it's very, very important that your eyes don't move. And that's why when you look at like this diagram of Albrecht Durer, you see like a little chin rest or a little reference point where he knows like where he needs to place his face so that he can have the exact identical to the millimeter uh, viewpoint. And really, especially I think also at this small scale, this is just an eight by 10 panel. The more that you move around, the more that it's really gonna be magnified on this image. Ultimately, the grid technique didn't work here, but um, I have experimented with some other techniques uh, that work a lot better in terms of using a grid from direct observation. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in learning how that works.